I wanted to do a follow-up video to my IMR 4166 and 308 loads where I'd worked up previously to um, how far had I worked up I think 46.4 grains with a flat base um, 165 bullet uh, spear bullet and um, I had stopped at where had I stopped? 45.8 on the uh, boat tail. <clears throat> well, I hit pressure signs for sure. Um, jumping up um, to 46.7. I did a 46.5 in a boat tail, match boat tail. And I hit pressure signs with that. I went all the way to 47 grains in the flat base. Um, 165. And it was like hitting and missing with pressure signs. But in the boat tail, I... And here's the strange thing. And here's something that I think I've seen before. And I've read about a little bit online. Is um, hitting pressure because of cold temperatures. Um, when I first started shooting, I wasn't hitting pressure, and then I would take a break, go shoot the other gun, um, shoot my AR, come back, and chronograph like three more, and, um, it was 28 degrees when I started, and, uh, I'm not sure what it was when I left, but the sun went down over the mountain, and I got cold, like I was, my hands were cold and stuff, and, um, but I didn't see, there was never a tight bolt lift, but extracting it was a little tight a few times, and it wasn't every time within the same charge um, charges. So, but I decided to shoot some steel after I'd got my stuff chronographed, and I'd say a few, especially in the uh, boat tails, it showed some pretty shiny spots on the uh, primer um, but they don't they do look pretty flat but I still think I can see some roundedness on the on the edges but then uh, the last one I shot it was pretty cold out and uh, I got an extractor mark where is this thing where is this thing there it is oh you can see that really well one extractor mark after all that shooting and really hard to get that thing out of the, um, to get it extracted. And, uh, ooh, where is that? It's interesting. Won't focus. So anyway, there you go. That was 46.5 in a boat tail. I went all the way to 47. And I had some tight ones that didn't want to come out. And I had some, like every other one would seem, kind of didn't want to come out. But they still seemed a little rounded on the primer. So I didn't have too much worries with everything. But uh, I had some real discrepancies with the uh, chronograph. Um, but I got up to 27... 37 with 46.7 which is what here's the real discrepancy is um, with 47 even actually I got that same thing 27 37 but the groups went to crap at that and the recoil was pretty harsh but anyway so here's one without an extractor mark and um I just heard this was a good way to check, but I'm right at 470 thousandths. Yeah, that's 2550. 471 thousandths. 471. So then, find my one with the extractor mark. And it is closer to. It's just barely. Yeah, let's see where we are. 
That's a half a thousandth larger, but dang, I thought I measured that differently. Anyway, I seen yeah, some are close to four seventy two and some are close to four seventy and a half. But that one's close to four seventy. Yeah, so it's hard to say, but a few didn't wanna come out. That one's close to four seventy two. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to say, but definitely was weird that the cold really affected it. So, and I, I'd heard of that before, and I've experienced it before, actually. But, uh, the thing that I took away from it was, I think the max should probably be 46 for me. Except I think it was 46.1. I had a really good, um, group with, and my speed was right just a shade under 2700 so i would play around with that in there but much over 46 is really starting to push the pressure limits especially if temperature swings affect it so i would say uh work it up slowly and pay attention to even so, yeah, even one of the things I was thinking was, like, I thought it was so weird, because any time I've had hit pressure before, even lifting the bolt was tight. But um, with these ones, it was just extracting it. So, um, and it was just so sporadic, and it was weird. It was like you would have no problem, and then you would have a one that's a little tight. and then. Um, but anyway, yeah, for me... I will not, I definitely won't go 46.5. I'll do under that if I shoot this powder again. But now the next thing is to see what Varget really did for me. But I can't find that stuff anywhere right now. So um, stuck just a shade under 2700. With the IMR 46, 4166, sorry. All right, thanks.